So, um, everyone's here except for Tanya. Yeah, um, yeah we, had, we had a couple of ideas. Sorry, sorry. The bus broke down. Come on. Tanya. We take the same bus. This is like the third time you've been late. Not today. Okay, so um, Jason and I got together the other day and I know we're looking for a business idea and I think that we thought of the idea of doing like a sort of a knockoff geocaching but more of a tourist kind of self-propelled tourism in Victoria. Um, so for those of us that don't know, geocaching is where you trade, some, you bring a bunch of trinkets around with you around to different places and you plug in uh, coordinates to the geocaches in your GPS and you um, trade something in the container for for with, with something of your own for equal or greater value and we we're thinking of doing something like that but um, I'm not really sure if that would kind of work in Victoria. Yeah, it would be like a scavenger hunt almost, not geocaching where you go and trade things in the containers but just kind of like you have a GPS so you have to go to the designated coordinates and see parts of Victoria that way. I think the good way to prove that they've been there is to give them disposable cameras and then they can take pictures. Oh yeah, yeah and then it can be like a, an activity for everybody. Yeah, and then we can target it towards the elderly, the young families, and they can go on either like walking or we can get bikes or scooters or something. For them. Oh yeah, that. okay, like we the can different incorporate age like um, Beacon Hill Park and uh, maybe like the water taxis or something along those lines. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. So basically, we're putting together a GPS scavenger hunt to Victoria for everyone coming in. Yeah. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, I think, I think, I think that, that sounds... That summarizes it up. This is for people? Yeah, that'd be, uh, we're going to target everyone. What do you think about that? Do you like that idea? I'm um, perfectly fine with that idea. Okay. Awesome. Sounds good. Okay, so are we going to have an office building? Yeah. I think, yeah, I think we need an office building. Just I don't think we need an office building at all. people need us. Yeah, well, we could have something like that, but I don't think we should have like an office building in downtown Victoria. Like, that's expensive. It'll definitely be yeah. expensive, but it's going to make us look more professional and look more Where like are we going to keep it otherwise? Well, I don't know. Somewhere else? Like, Why? can't we just like, keep it in someone's garage? That's kind of sketchy. What do we have for <laughs> Yeah. Well, well, can you should we also have a white van with a candy inside it all the time? You can't make fun of me. I'm just we saying. We just want to professional, right? And have a place for people to call, a place for people to come and... Fine, we'll vote on it then. Okay. Who thinks we should have an office building? Guys! <laughs> okay, fine, fine, we'll have we'll have an office building. So where should we have it? Downtown, we have kept to it. We can't have it downtown. downtown. It'll be way yeah. too expensive for our budget. It's only about twelve hundred a month for leasing. Have you researched we that? Have I have researched that. I don't think I don't believe you. I get you the information right now, but I don't have a laptop on me. Can we stay present in the conversation, please? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Please. Thank you. Um, so, okay, well, how about something like, like, like on the outskirts of downtown? Well, yeah. They'd probably good. cut down costs. Yeah. 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 Great. So are we going to provide lunch to people? Um, I don't think so. I mean, probably like... Not. We'd have to hire a chef. Uh, or someone who could But we would have to up costs if we didn't yeah, provide yeah. lunch. Well, we could if we didn't provide lunch, we'd have to up costs. If we do provide, sorry, if yeah. we do provide lunch, we're gonna have to up costs and stuff. Yeah, so. I think we should scrap the lunch idea. We're gonna have to take into account people's allergies and diet. Yeah, maybe we just promote some local restaurants. Give them like coupons or like one free meal or something like that. If we okay. can work something yeah. out at the yeah. restaurant, yeah, just promote locally run businesses. I think. Okay, that makes sense. That's good. That I like that idea. Great. Yeah, like, I think Aaron's idea on transportation, like having a different choice between walking and biking and scooters, is a really good one. Yeah, we'll be able to customize it for each different individual's needs, right? Yeah, I didn't yeah. even think of that. That's good. So, what about, we can't do this all year long, we get too cold. What are we going to do during the winter? Well, we all, sorry, go ahead. Just it doesn't get that cold in Victoria, I and mean, yeah. there's still lots of places that have different things during the winter. Like, Food Shark Gardens still has their winter. Or we can incorporate, like, indoor sites, like going to the museum, for 
for instance. So they're still going to have to walk around outside. They'll have to walk around yeah. outside, but just it's making nice. sure that they're going to places that they have a place to get warm at each spot, you know, something like that. Plus, I don't think they'll have, they're not going to have, um, as, we're not going to have as many tourists during. This is true. We'll have to budget for it. I mean, it's our high season is going to be our high season, our low yeah. season is going to be our low season. We're just going to have to budget to try and make it all equal out. Yeah, okay. I guess, and we'll all have other other jobs as well and yeah. stuff too. It's fine, so. And even if we're doing customized trips, we can always like look at the weather forecast. So if it's going to be pouring rain, obviously we're not going to book a trip during that day or something. Right. Mm -hmm. Or at least let, we'll let them know what the weather's yeah. supposed to be like. Yeah, and people can dress weather appropriately too, right? Like a lot of people really enjoy the rain. Yeah, make sure you write that down. Dress appropriately. Dress appropriately. Should we provide hot chocolate in the winter? It's cheap and it's easy and people really appreciate the... Uh, the happy yeah, that oh yeah, have. like, you know, you get like cider you care when you buy a Christmas yeah. tree kind of thing. Exactly. Yeah, that's good. Super centrally centrally located, it might help a bit for the advertising itself too, you know? Yeah, like we could have a big poster outside our yeah, yeah. thing. Um, we could also call up the airline, the airlines, the uh, cruise ships and stuff and have them kind of put that there if we're, once we get off after the first, you know, year or two or whatever, we will have a, you know, we'll be better known and we can be more credible as well to, yeah. to having an operating business. Works. So, um, as we were saying, I really liked we really liked Jason's idea on transportation. transportation, and I like your idea on hot chocolate too. That that's really good. I really love those kind of kinds of things. Everyone loves hot chocolate. Or I know I love hot chocolate. <laughs> hot chocolate is awesome. I, I remember this one time at Christmas, my mother and father made hot chocolate, and. All right, Chris, let's any? stay on topic here. <laughs> no, uh, okay, sorry. Okay. we got to keep things moving. No. Winter time. <laughs> yeah, we're only well, like 15 minutes, minutes so we got to... Yeah, let's keep everything on topic. Okay. What's next? Um, we should talk about a little bit about um, kind of startup costs and everything. Does anyone know? We should go away and research. How we're going to budget that. Yeah. Research and see how many places will give us either discounts or freebies or... Yeah, and just do you want to start writing down some ideas for um, local businesses in town that we want to incorporate? Yeah. Does anyone have anything off the top of their heads? Um, Rogers Chocolates. Rogers Chocolates. Or the Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory is really good too. Oh, there's such yeah. good candy apples there. Well. Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory? Who wants to do Rogers Chocolates? I'm in for Rogers. Yeah, yeah I think so. It's, it's, Who wants, so you want to do the Rocky Mountain? I don't actually know the difference. Um, I think the Rocky Mountain is... Uh, it's here anyway, so you were saying, right? Yeah, I know it's... I think it's all over the country. But it's a Canadian thing. Yeah. So it could be for people that are in from out of... Country. Country, but like for more localized things. Is Rogers just... Victoria, do you know? I think it might be. I'm not sure though. I'm not no. sure either. No. no. Okay. Well, we'll have to go and look at that. Um, so we could do like either Rogers or Purdy's yeah. kind of thing. So. Um, what about the Marble Slab Creamery outside Bay Center? I mean, that is really good. So oh yeah, it's really good. It's good. Really good. And it's they good definitely. Yeah, write have that have down. A, they definitely have pamphlets for like a dollar off. Oh good. Okay. So we could go in and really incorporate that. Um, how about um, any like breakfast places that are really local that we know about? Sam's Deli. Is it so there that waffle good. place in Market Square? Not a waffle. Um, I don't know of, but yeah. 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 The Blue Fox is a great breakfast that one spot. I have heard about Blue Fox from somebody from out of it's, town. It's always really, really busy, though. There's lots of Yeah, there's yeah. yeah. a big line that we'd have to have connections there. I don't know how, like, yeah, how they would feel about that. that kind of thing. But I know a good breakfast place is uh, Demi Task Cafe. It's downtown. It's on Blanchard and Johnson. I used to work there, make coffee there. It's amazing. People love it there. Demi Tess Cafe. Mm -hmm. So that's breakfast slash, and um, do we, where we decided we were going to provide lunch, or? We decided against providing and giving them a local, and suggestions. Yeah, it's a local.